elongated. When you've elongated at one end, you can't elongate at the other end. Let's see if that works. If not, I have many more. Sparkles. Look at for me, you know, I might need to take stock in the pen. Especially now that you're going to have a little one, you can do all sorts of pens, crazy things, art projects. You grew up with it. I'm not though. <coughs> You're going to want to go back and know all your definitions of your muscle grades. When you're looking at all the motions at all the joints, you want to just be reminded that to get horizontal ab and adduction at the shoulder, you flex the shoulder to 90 and then you move in the horizontal plane. But if I'm in this position, what is that? That's abduction and external rotation. Okay. Are you going to do Have that thing again where you show us the, yeah, those picture things? There's a couple pictures. They're pictures that you will have seen already. They're not new. So when you're studying your motor and your sensory flow, you want to also be reminded of the definitions of afferent and efferent. Was that in the chapter? <laughs> neuro. Yeah, in the neuro. You'll notice. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm not reading you the questions. I'm just right. like kind of giving you ideas around what some oh, of the questions great. are. You want to go back and study the sliding filament theory? You want to be able to give me a definition of that? What is the sliding filament theory? Yeah, it's how we contract our muscles. So it's when the myofilaments slide across one another. Mm -hmm. What is the all or none response? The all or none response. Oh, either the muscle fully contracts or it doesn't at all. Mm -hmm. The muscle fiber. Muscle fiber. fiber. Okay. okay. Because then we have the issue of recruitment. So a muscle fiber has to either have enough stimulation to contract completely or not at all. But in terms of the strength of the muscle contraction, you know, it's like I don't contract all of my muscle fibers in my bicep to do this, do I? Right. Okay. But if I grab a 10 pound weight, mm -hmm. I'm going to recruit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So muscle recruitment has to do with how many fibers, because I think that was something that people got a little confused on before was muscle recruitment has to do with how many fibers are recruited. Mm -hmm. All or none has to do with the individual muscle fibers. They, they have an on and off switch and that's it. Yeah. So you're using, you're using a certain percentage of your total available fibers, not a certain percentage of the fiber. Right. The fiber is either zero or 100%. Yeah, exactly. You want to go back and review your end feels? Bony, soft, spongy, Foggy. empty. Hmm? What? Foggy is my favorite. Foggy. Empty, empty is your one, you, is you're going to remember that of all of those, empty is going to be the one that you're going to see right. as being abnormal. And on the test. And on, and the, on the test, test. please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the definition of excitability? Muscle fibers stimulated. excited. <laughs> yeah, the muscle fibers have the ability to be excited, yeah. Contractility. Go back to where they... That means the muscle fibers can shorten. Extensibility. That means they can be stretched. Mm -hmm. In elasticity. To go back, back to normal. They can go back to normal. Like a rubber band. Silly band. Yeah, That's my rubber band. Yep. See, all your See, my silly goofy things work. That's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, what did you say? Fine. So, Fine. so Fine. excitability. Elasticity. Elasticity. My talking distracted me. Yeah. 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 Huh? <laughs> my talking distracted me. So if I've been in, in a cast for six weeks and I come out of the cast and I can't extend my arm, what kind of contraction would you call that? Flexion. It's a flexion contracture because my flexors have been held in a shortened position. So a contracture is named for the muscle that's shortened, or the muscle group that's shortened. <clears throat> With exercise, you're going to want to revisit the whole idea of like open chain, closed chain, isometric exercise. Are you clear on the difference between open and closed chain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Open chain, the distal end is able to move. Closed chain, you. Against like I'm doing a push-up or something. Yeah, you, you've got to stabilize with the, that distal end. 